So we're going to look at outliers, and particularly in the case of box plots, but could work with any data. And looking at what the definition is of an outlier and how to calculate outliers. So for the purposes of this course, the definition of an outlier is... An outlier is any value that is more than one and a half, 1.5 times um, the interquartile range below the lower quartile or more than 1.5 times the interquartile range above the upper quartile. So if this is your interquartile range here, let's say this was, for example, 10. If I times it by one and a half, that's 15. So if this, that will have to be more than 15. I'm adding more than 15 because I'm allowed anything up to an extra 15 here. That can be 15. And anything over 15 away from the upper quartile is an outlier. It's not close enough to the majority of the data. And likewise down here, that is also 15. And so this, this, this um, outlier is less than 1.5 times interquartile range below the lower quartile. And this makes a bit more sense if we do an example. Um, but first of all, let's just make sure we write down the formula. So there's our formula. It's about whether 1.5 times the interquartile range take, taken away from the lower quartile. That's your small outlier and then you've got your large outlier. So as I've said, we'll do an example. It'll make a bit more sense. Okay, for this example, we're given some numbers. We have to do them on a box plot and identify any outliers. Well, let's just remind ourselves what a box plot looks like. Looks like this normally. So you've got your median, your lower quartile, your upper quartile, your minimum and your maximum. But we're also going to have potentially an outlier or two either end. So let's have a little look at that. First of all, there are 19 pieces of data here. So I've got 19 bits of data. Now, fortunately, they're in order, so it's going to save me a bit of time. And I can work out what my median is, what my lower quartile, my upper quartile, my interquartile range. So to remind you, my median is my number exactly halfway through, my tenth number, which is 38. My lower quartile is quarter way through my data, so it's halfway to half, which is 35. And likewise, my upper quartile is halfway along the second lot, which is 41. So my interquartile range is 41, take away 35, which is 6. Okay, I'm now going to check for any outliers before I move on. So I'm going to do 1.5 times 6, which is 9. Now my small outlier, small outlier would be less than my lower quartile, 35, take away 9. And 35 take away 9 is 26. And my large outlier would be more than 41 add the 9, so more than 50. So if I look at my data at the top here, only one number is either more than 50, so no numbers are more than 50, so 50 is fine, but one number is less than 26. So this is my only outlier. So my outlier is 22. Outlier equals 22. So my minimum other number would be 30. So I'm about to draw my box plot, but my minimum, instead of being 22, will be 30, because 22 is an outlier. So there's my data for my box plot. Here's the scale, and I'm just going to pop the data on. So 22 is just going to be there. I mark it with a cross. Then my minimum is 30, my maximum 50, my median at 38. It's easier for you, it's quite hard to do this on here. And then I've got 41, I've got 35, and there's my box plot. And hopefully yours is a bit neater, but please note the outlier at 22. I've just got one final thing to say about when there is standard deviation involved, there's one extra formula for you to note down. This will make so you a bit have looked at standard deviation. Uh, but no, you have already in a previous lesson and seen the percentage that's outside those three standard deviations. Remember, it's 99.7% of data is inside three standard deviations, so it really makes sense as an outlier if it's more 
than three standard deviations either way. Um, so the way that that would look as a formula is like this. And we know that this is the mean and this is the standard deviation of our population. Okay, make sure you've got that down and have a go at some questions.